Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change your theme in RetroArch. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, RetroArch has a few different built-in menu styles and colors, and changing them up is pretty straightforward and can also be a lot of fun. So behind me here, this is the default theme for RetroArch. If you download it and install it, it should look something like this. So the first thing we're gonna do here is explore a few different colors for this theme. What you need to do is head down into settings and then find the option where it says user interface and then click on it. Once you're here, click on appearance and then scroll down to where it says menu color theme. By default, mine is set to basic black. You can change it to basic white if you like. You can change it to Nord. You can change it to pretty much anything you want in here. They've just added solarized dark and solarized light and both of these color themes look pretty cool. If you're happy with that, then great. Now, if you don't like this menu style at all, we can also change that up. To change RetroArch's menu up, go back into settings and then go into user interface. Instead of going to appearance, we're actually just gonna go into menu. So by default, it's set to ozone. We can change it to GLUI, RGUI, or XMB. So all you have to do to change it is just hit enter on whatever one you wanna change it to. Go back into your main menu here and then click Restart RetroArch. And just like that, you've completely changed up how RetroArch looks. Now I will caution you here, the location of some of these menu items might change a little bit based on the theme you're using. So it might be worth taking a bit of time to familiarize yourself with the theme. For example, on this one here, if I wanna get back into the user interface settings, I do have to hit the right arrow to bring me to that settings menu. And then the user interface settings are about three quarter way down this menu. If I hit enter here, I can get back into the menu settings and change it to a different theme entirely. Let's take a look at RGUI. And just a friendly reminder here, you will have to restart RetroArch every single time you change the menu theme in order for it to take effect. So here's what RGUI or RGUI looks like. And each of these themes also have their own colors. If I go into settings here, I'll go back into user interface and then go into appearance. If you see it's set to classic green, I can switch that to classic blue, classic violet, classic gray. There are a bunch of different colors here. And if I wanted to change this back entirely to a completely different theme here in menu, I can just switch this to XMB. Let's take a look at that one now. So here's XMB in all of its glory. If you've used RetroArch in the last number of years, you should be right at home with this theme here. And this theme also has different colors. So if I go into the settings menu here, uh, go back into user interface and then go into appearance. I can change the color. So by default here, it is set to electric blue. I can put it to apple green, undersea, volcanic red. There are a lot of different options. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. It's just a quick one here with a couple of tips that can hopefully help you out. As always, it's all stuff and no fluff. Let me know in the comments below what RetroArch theme is your favorite and also what colorway is your favorite. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.